marketing director for Texas and Oklahoma. So I will still be here. I'll be stationed here at San Antonio. And I will also oversee Hurricane Harbor Splash Town in Houston, Six Flags over Texas, and Hurricane Harbor Arlington, and Frontier City, Hurricane Harbor, Oklahoma City. I'll be covering all those parts. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. But the best part about it is that I am still here. Yes, sir. Here in you know what's even better? All of you are here. Wow, we are so excited about the turnout today. We we were just we're just thrilled that all of you showed up. How many of you are from out of Texas, out of state? Wow, 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 that's a lot. How many of you are here for your very first time? Ooh, wow, see impressive. So thank you for being with us here today to celebrate our second annual Roller Coaster Rodeo. Last year we had about 204 people here for the event. This year we are at 371. Yes, yes sir! All right. Well, thank all of you for joining us today. Now we've got a lot of exciting things that are still coming to come, but I'm just gonna tell you about that in a little bit. However, I do want to remind you, tomorrow morning we do have a uh, an event that's called the Dr. Diabolicals Cliffhanger Block Break Walk. So for a $15 donation to the National Roller Coaster 
Museum Association, which you can do online on our website. Just click on the QR code and look for the button. 15 bucks, you can climb up that lift hill, or I'm sorry, not the lift hill, <laughs> the black brake lift, and then get some great pictures, great photos from somewhere that you'll never be able to walk again. So, just, if you haven't already signed up, please do. Let me tell you, we've already got over 100 people doing it. So, we're very excited to uh, already have at least $1,500 to donate. So. We will be meeting tomorrow morning at the 8.30 at Flash Pass, right? Yes, Flash Pass. Yes. So if you are on the uh, construction tour today, the area where we exited, that's where we're going to meet. Now we're going to take you in from there if you're participating in that. Do we just need the, um, the barcode on our ticket? Yes, you'll just have to show that when you get there and then we'll take care of that. All right? All right, so... I would like to introduce to you a guy you love, know and love very well, Mr. Jeff Belico. Let's hear for Jeff Belico. Thank you, thank you. How's everyone doing? How was dinner? Awesome. So we're gonna get the fun started by going over the winners for the Sharp Shooter Challenge. How many people took a chance at a high score this morning? A lot of you raise your hand, let's see. How many of you think you won? Yeah, that, that's probably close to the truth. Here we go, so we're gonna start. Jeff. Yes. Jorge. I have something special. I need the envelope, please. Yeah, all right, in my hand, the enclosed document that is the final scores for both the Sharpshooter Challenge and our rodeo rivalry. So, Jeff, good sir, I hand it off to you. Jorge, who does not have a flair for the dramatic at all. <laughs> Let's talk about the prizes here quickly. So we have three different gift packs here, all of which include a very cool set, set of collectible buttons. You can purchase many of these button sets in the retail locations throughout the park, but this particular prize pack includes buttons for several private events that you cannot purchase. So you can take a look, you can visit with the winner, look at their whole collection of buttons, and if you like some of the specific posters or park-specific buttons, check out the retail locations. They actually come in very cool sets, so you can collect them all, and we're going to release more throughout the year, so it's a great reason to come back and keep that button set growing in celebration of our 30th anniversary. So here we go, let's start with third place, with a grand total of 2,280 points. Matthew Connor. Yeah. Oh, he knew it. He was ready and waiting. <laughs> Matthew, you have to put the hat on. He already has a pretty cool hat on. He's ready for voodoo tonight. That is very cool. Oh, geez. <laughs> it doesn't fit on your head. You got to stretch it. It's foam. Work it out. Good looking hat. How about one more big Go round of applause? Go Third place, Sharpshooter Challenge. Congratulations. Second place for the Pirates of the Deep Sea Sharpshooter Challenge with 2,330 points, Richard S. Where are you at? Where are you at? Richard, come on down. Mary, you gotta put it on. Yes, sir. Let's hear one more time for Richard. And in first place for the Pirates of the Deep Sea Sharpshooter Challenge with a grand total of 2,390 points. Very impressive total. Linus! Congratulations. Not only does he get the giant hat, the gift pack, the buttons, he also gets this highly coveted rattlesnake squishmallow. <laughs> all right, one more big round of applause for all three of our sharpshooter winners.
All right, now it's time to talk about rodeo rivalry winners. Who thinks they won? Nobody? The confidence in the room, Chris. The confidence. I can see why you think that because this is kind of confusing. There's uh -oh. something wrong here. What's going on? So we've got three places, first, second, and third, but we clearly have a first place winner, which we can't announce that first, so we have a tie for second and third. Uh oh. You know what that means? Oh, I know what that means, Chris. With a tie, the tiebreaker here at Roller Coaster Rodeo is a Rodeo Rochambeau. So we got who, what two teams are going to be called down for the Rochambeau? Something clever. All right, team, something clever. Come on up. Come on down. Oh. <laughs> All right, there they are. The other team is Stardust. Stardust, team Stardust, where are you at? Stardust. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for both teams. Come on down over here on either side of Chris. On either side of Chris. All right, line up right here. Gets right, right at the edge of the cement. All right, Stardust. That's y'all. Stardust and something clever. Okay. Now you're gonna pick one member of your team to Rochambeau. Now Rochambeau is just a classic rock. Paper, scissors, all right? That's two out of three wins. All right, so go ahead and choose who you want to represent you. This is the Rodeo Rochambeau for second or third place. All right, you're gonna be going, who's, who's over here? Something clever? All right, now for those that don't know each other, go ahead, say your name, say your name, something clever. Jeff, that wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't clever. <laughs> I'm just kidding, what's your name? Mike. Mike for Stardust. Okay, all right, now it's gonna be uh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot, okay? And on shoot is when we're gonna do the signal, okay? Here we go. First one, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, paper beats rock. All right, something clever has one. <sighs> all right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh-oh, rock beats scissors, that's it. Something clever, you got the second spot. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. We have our third place spot and our second place spot so come on down we're gonna award you a very very special custom one-of-a-kind item third place gets a copper plated belt buckle these are rodeo style trophies so go ahead come on down ladies and gentlemen let's hear for third place Now you can put those through a belt loop, you can display them how you like, but if you want to wear them in the park and show everybody that you are third place in rodeo rivalry, go on ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, one more big round of applause for our third place winners. All right, now let's hear it for our second place winners in rodeo rivalry, something clever, congratulations. Come on down, they get a custom silver plated second place rodeo, roller coaster rodeo medal. Nicely done, nicely done. Like again, like I said, you could take these, wear them, showcase them. You are second place. Big round of applause for second place. All right. All right, Chris, I'll leave it to you. you. Guys ready for the big one, the big number one? Now, there's something also that's special with, with these three winners, correct, Chris? Yes. All, all 12 winners get to go on the special tour with Jeffrey um, right after this. And we will gather, just join us right up here and we'll give you instructions on how to make that happen. Um, but yes, okay. let's get right to it. All right, that's these big winners. So, first place, drum roll, come on everyone. All right. Two, four, eight. Two, four, eight. Team two, four, eight. Is this a typo? Cory Walkers. Cory Walkers did it. Oh, Chris, you have the score. <laughs> you have the score of two, four, eight. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what's going on there. Ladies and gentlemen, our first place. They get these gold-plated Roller Coaster Rodeo first place belt buckles. 
<laughs> Congratulations, wear them proudly. One more big round of applause for our first place winners. All right, we're gonna turn things back over to Jeff. He's got some housekeeping to go over for the rest of the, uh, the weekend. So lots of great stuff, there you go. So much more exciting than just housekeeping because we have more surprises for you tonight. Things that you don't even know about. So, before we leave this venue, we're gonna hear a few more words from some other folks, and then immediately following that, we're gonna head to the lawn behind me for our huge roller coaster rodeo group photo. So make sure when we wrap up here, we all head to the lawn for that group photo, and then as you exit the venue this evening, we have your Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger Fiesta Medal. We'll be handing them out at the exit as you walk out. And then, after that, at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., if you would like, we're going to do a special tour, a photo tour, of the first drop of Iron Rap. We're going to meet at the gate just to the right-hand side of the Iron Rattler entrance, and we will walk you behind the scenes near Gully Washer so you can get that perfect photo of the first drop of Iron Rattler. We have from 8 to 8.30, so please be there at 8 o'clock. We have 30 minutes for that tour, so please do not be late if you want to see that drop of the epic Iron Rattler. 8 o'clock. Looking at the rest of the evening, if you thought you've had a great day so far, you haven't seen anything yet because the fun is really just beginning. We have ERT tonight. Do you guys know we have ERT tonight? Not on one ride, not on two rides, not on three rides. Every single ride in the park. Every coaster ride, every kitty ride, and there's food and drink and more. So you have ERT from immediately after Rock the Night until midnight. You also have reserved show seating for Rock the Night, which the house will open at 8.30. You have seating on the lawn in front for fireworks, so again, make sure you are there at 8.30 to get that reserved show seating. How many of you have seen one of our spectacular nighttime fireworks shows? How many of you have never seen our nighttime fireworks? Oh my god, you're in for a treat! You have no idea what's about to come. If there's one thing you need to know about Fiesta Texas, we love to blow stuff up. <laughs> this evening when ERT starts, enjoy the entire park, but there is one place you definitely want to be. We will have the Hoongin House of Voodoo open for our Mardi Gras party. And that will be the site for all the Mardi Gras treats and the Mardi Gras cocktails, which tonight is your yellow drink tickets. You got your drink tickets yesterday, so look for the yellow drink tickets. The food for tonight's menu includes jambalaya, crab mac and cheese, alligator bites with boom boom sauce, boudin balls with boom sauce, and again, those magnificent Mardi Gras cocktails. The entrance, this area, the Hoongan House of Voodoo Courtyard, is in, it's in our Spasburg section of the park. So if you know where Studio F6 is, it's directly around the corner from there. It's across from Sangerfest in that area. If you head down there, you'll see us all around there. We'll call you over, join the Mardi Gras party. Lots of food, lots of drink. Make sure you make time to check it out. And then of course, go through Boongan's House of Voodoo. That's just tonight. Then you go home, take a quick nap, and the party continues tomorrow. Chris mentioned the break run climb starting at 8.30. If you are going to purchase a ticket for that, you have to do so tonight. Sales end tonight, shortly after dinner. So make sure if you're interested, you purchase that ticket sooner than later. And you have to be at Flash Pass no later than 9.30. We'll start doing tours at 8.30, so I urge you to get there earlier because it'll be marginally cooler at 8.30 but we definitely need you there by 9.30, no later than 9.30 if you're going to be doing that tour. Immediately following that tour, the fun starts on Sunday with our reverse train track trail walk. We're gonna start and walk the entire course of the train track in reverse, giving you some never before seen vistas of the park from some very unique vantage points, including walking through that tunnel and getting an up close look of the waterfalls, which is a very, very cool photo op, something you definitely do not wanna miss. That tour will meet at the railroad crossing 
right next to the carousel and first aid and close to the backside of Batman. So we're gonna enter the railroad. At that point, you'll see all of us standing there waiting for you in the morning. So we're gonna start the walk there and we'll go all the way around and end today where we did by Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. So you also get a great view of the coaster construction there tomorrow as we walk along the railroad tracks. Right after that, you'll be nice and warm and ready to cool off. So we're gonna head over to Whitewater Bay. We've got full park early ride time tomorrow. So we're gonna unleash you on Whitewater Bay to cool off, relax, enjoy all the attractions Whitewater Bay has to offer. The key here, we are not using the main water park entrance. We are taking you in a special entrance. So you can be the first in, you can enjoy it, you can relax, you can really take advantage of all that cool water. Where the lounge was today at La Terraza, there is a gate right there, just down the midway. So if you go to where the lounge was today for La Terraza, you'll see us open that gate. That is where we're gonna take you back and forth beginning at 11 a.m. La Terraza, where the lounge was today, that is also where you're going to be having lunch tomorrow. So we're gonna leave that gate open exclusively for you all. So you can come back and forth in the water park as you please. Come by, grab lunch tomorrow, head back into the water park, but we're gonna leave that exclusive access for you there until lunch is done. So please go back and forth, enjoy, make sure you see us tomorrow, have lunch. We've got a great night ahead. The party is just getting started. We expect to see each and every one of you here until midnight tonight. Yes. And then back again at 8.30 in the morning. Yes. I can feel the excitement already. Now, I'm gonna hand it off to someone very special. Very special. Very special. Of course, we've seen him throughout. He's a plethora of knowledge. He really enforces that uh, a great change in this park, and you got to dunk him in some water today. Ladies and gentlemen, our park president, Jeffrey Seabird. Well, thank you, Jorge. Thank you, everybody. Hopefully everyone's having a good time. Let's give a big round of applause for our marketing team that's been working tirelessly to pull this event together. Thank you so much, guys. Let's give another big round of applause for our catering team, because we know food equals love. And if you have not had ice cream yet, there's a blue belt cart to my right that has ice cream novelties. So make sure that you grab some ice cream before we get on our big photo tour this evening. Hopefully everyone's having a good time. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this great second year event, as you can imagine. We're already planning and looking forward to next year when the event will even be bigger and more spectacular for the third annual Roller Coaster Rodeo, the same weekend in June. So mark your calendars. Oh. It's the hat that I got. And then the pins, they basically gave us all the pins from the first one they did last year, the Halloween one, all the way until today's, which means I got an extra Dr. Diabolical Fiesta. Yeah. And it also gave me like this bag of stuff, which also looks like one of the cups we've been trying to get as well, yay. One of those pop-top cups. Yep, I got this hat, I got the voodoo hat on. I don't know what to do with both hats. I'll figure out something. Knowing me, I'm probably gonna put one on top of the other. Yep, uh, I cut the last uh, part of that short because, well, one, the phone was overheating, and two, they were talking about how, like, check out uh, ACE and Thrill Seekers United for other events and stuff that they post. And then they were talking about the uh, people that won the rodeo rivalry um, to go Jeffrey on that tour. Thank you. Yep. Here is Focus, 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 fo focus, fo focus, focus, there we go. The Fiesta Metal of Dr. Diabolical's Lift Hanger. That looks really good. Alright, next event, um, I already forgot, uh, I'll just, oh yeah, the first, the first drop hill, Iron, Iron Rattler. 
at uh, 8 p.m. So uh, let's go over to that. Opening the gate. Lanyards, lanyards, lanyards. Scanning for lanyards. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Excellent. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Mm. Slaughterhouse. 90 days, my friend, 90 days. 90 days till your arrival. No different than what you see going on the train, really.
too. Huh. I love this ride to death, but I don't know. Okay, Iron Blossom hurts my legs sometimes, so that kind of bothers me. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. No, that's it's great. So good. No one talks about No one talks about the pop. Yeah, no, without coming here, if you want to get good, uh, gully go stuck. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stuck. Never mind. Just make sure there's enough space. Yeah, I don't like getting wet. Oh, so I. I'm gonna go out here and get some coffee. No, the only time I'm gonna get some coffee. Oh, you're getting out. Rock the Night, 
just just as the last two years of it being here it was amazing awesome now we have the full park ERT plus the Mardi Gras party in Spasburg and the Hoongan House of Voodoo open so we are currently in line for the Hoongan House of Voodoo yeah <laughs> this long line and it keeps getting longer longer and longer and longer ah. So we just tried all the Mardi Gras food offerings over here. Honestly, they weren't all that bad. Some of them no. were all right. Oh, you are in the fortune telling line. Yeah, we're good. 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 we it's like a ghost town out here. Can't, can barely find anyone. Barely anyone out here. Once I actually went to a real boardwalk, it Dang. Yeah, we're, uh, we've been riding a few rides. Went through the house of video. House of Voodoo a few times. We uh, tried the food. The food was, it was all right. So yeah, we're gonna go on a few more rides as well. Well, just went through the House of Voodoo for the third time and the final time until Fright Fest begins. Ooh, 90 more days for all five houses return. This marks the end of Roller Coaster Rodeo. Day two. Tomorrow, there will be the reverse train track trail, the Whitewater Bay Bash, which I will record very little of, as obvious reasons, like it's a water park. I'm not gonna record in there. And then, possibility of recording the Dr. Diabolical tour thing, because I did buy a ticket for it, but I'm not sure if we're allowed to record on there because of how high you're going. So, that all said, barely anyone is here left at the park and it's not even midnight yet. Finally getting hot in what I'm wearing after 14, 15 hours. <sighs> Tomorrow we gotta be here before 8.30 again. Yay! <laughs> Today honestly was a fun day. All the stuff that they had planned. Especially with what they had in Zaragoza. And, um, yeah. Well. Exit of the park. And I still don't know if it's going to be a two parter or not for this day. Most likely will be. But it was fun. Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger tour with the construction site, what they had in Zaragoza, the uh, big rodeo dinner. It was honestly pretty good. Um, it, was, it was amazing. Everything that they have. I'm gonna go back, edit it all, review it all. Yeah. So, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> See you all with day three.